The Pink Project all started with two young women tackling a problem they saw at Nelson High School. All these individuals who menstruate, they need these products. And if they don't have the products, they have to go home, you know. Um, and that's not fair because everyone should be receiving equal education. Everyone should be able to go to school and make it through the day without, you know, bleeding their pants or having to ask someone else for products. This should be something that's available, just like toilet paper and soap. After getting their school supplied, they applied for a community grant and stocked products on tables around the city, getting nothing but positive feedback. It's really changed my day. It's changed, you know, so much for me to know that this is an initiative that's being implemented. Thank you so much. Those, those deeper messages were sent through our Instagram and email. They pitched the bigger project to Burlington City Council this month, where they were asked what experiences prompted them to think this was an issue. In elementary school, when this whole issue started for, for us. Uh, when you get your period, it's always um, it's always kind of a scary thing because you don't really know what's happening. You've learned about it maybe in theory a little bit, but when it happens, it's never the same as in the textbooks. And we were just sharing that experience of that walk of shame down to the main office to go get a, a pad. And that combination of just not knowing what's happening, being scared with the embarrassment of coming back with something crinkling in your pocket and having to stand there by the secretary and just be like, Miss, can I have a, a pad, please? Because that is the most one of the most traumatizing things. And one of the experiences that is one of the goals of the project is to avoid those experiences for future young girls. This is about equity, about diversity, inclusion. You don't pay for toilet paper when you go to a, go to a restroom right now. And so why should you pay for menstrual products? It is enormously expensive. Uh, some people have called it period poverty, where they've had to choose between covering the cost of that and being able to pay their other necessary bills. So in public spaces, this is the, the you know, this is the least we can do to kind of help with that. And it really creates equity between men and women um, and between people who need to use those products and, and people that, you know, get free toilet paper. We don't ask people to bring that into our facilities. So this is really about equity. The Pink Project's second aim was to help normalize menstruation through education. As you look around at different cultures globally, and not every culture is ashamed of, of periods. That's not something that's a, a kind of commonly accepted universal fact, right? There are cultures that value it, that see it as something sacred. That's a normal part of life. And, you know, young girls especially, and young individuals who menstruate, shouldn't feel like they're embarrassed to go ask the teacher for a period product or ask their friends. They shouldn't feel any type of embarrassment whatsoever. And, you know, this has to be tackled at a young age. So starting from the younger generation, things have to change. Uh, we have to be more open to talking about this in movies, especially in TV shows, in the media, anywhere. If we don't start with the younger generation, then everyone is going to grow up kind of hiding it like we do now. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.